Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode I will talk about iterators in TypeScript. If you want to understand this episode really good, please watch the previous episode about generators. You can click the button over here to watch it. Iterators are things that uh, go over and iterate over beasts which are called iterables. And today I will show you uh, the built-in iterators in TypeScript and how to uh, give them uh, iterables, beasts that they iterate over. Let's start by me showing you uh, two built-in iterators, the for in and for off and the differences between them. So let's define a list which is, will be a list of arrays one, two, three. Okay, and now let's iterate over it with the built-in iterators, the for in, uh, let l in list console log l. Okay, so uh, what for in does, it actually iterates over the property names of the object okay so list stores the uh, objects as uh, key value pairs under the property of the index so if for example i console log the list at position two okay i will get three because this is zero one two so i'm actually accessing the property two of the list. It will also work if I do it like this. Okay, it's the same thing. And now I will iterate over the list with for off. And what I will get here is one, two, three, which are the values that are stored in the list. The same thing I can do with a set. Let me just copy paste it and create a set, new set over the list. And let me just do it like this. Okay, so what am I seeing here? I'm seeing that, let's look firstly at the for off. Uh, it iterates over uh, something. I will show you a little bit later what it uh, iterates over. Uh, but it uh, iterates over the values of the set, okay, uh, which we expect it to be one to three because we initialize it with the list. And the foreign uh, is not logging anything. But if I, for example, uh, add the property sum equal to thing, okay, uh, it will print it out. Let me just put it any here. So it won't yell at me because of types, because set doesn't have the sum property. Uh, but what I did here, I actually added the property sum with some value. Okay, it doesn't matter. And now the for in iterates uh, over the properties. So what it shows you, because the set actually does have some properties, uh, but we don't see it here. It shows that for in iterates over the enumerable properties. When you define a property in an object, you can specify it uh, like this, which is a short term, which has some default values for uh, enumerable uh, and other stuff. Okay, is it read only, for example? And there is a way using the object defined property, object define property, okay, to actually specify other uh, things. Let me look at the property descriptor. So we can define the enumerable, whether the property will be returned in for in. So if you define it false, it will also not uh, appear in the to JSON when it parses it, the, parse the JSON to string, it will not appear as well. And you can uh, define it writable false, so it will be read only. And uh, you can define a setter and a getter, okay, and other stuff like that. So, when a set is created, it defines some private properties which are not enumerable. This is why we're not getting them in the for in. But when I add a simple property, it gets added with the default properties. 
of the descriptor. The property descriptor is, uh, has some default values and the enumerable is true there. So now let's look at uh, uh, what I meant when I said that the for off okay, iterates over sp some special property. So let's create an object. Let object be x1, y2. Okay, and let me just pull it up. Let's iterate over it. Let o in obj console log o. Okay, and let's do the same thing with for off. Okay, so what am I seeing here? I'm seeing here that for in, as expected, iterates over the property names, which are x and y. And for off is throwing me an error, okay? It says that the symbol iterator is not a function. Those of you who do not know what symbols are, please watch the symbols episode over here. What it basically says to us is that in order the, for the for off iterator to work, the object must have a property uh, which is symbol iterator. So this means that the list and the set already, not all at least, a, an array already has a, a property a symbol iterator defined. So how can we do it? This will be symbol iterator. Okay, and I'm gonna define it as a generator functions. And again, those who didn't watch the generator functions uh, video, please uh, watch the generators video over there. I'm creating a generator function which has some, uh, I don't know, loop, log from 10 to 15, i++, plus plus, and yield i. Okay, I have a typo here. So now, after I created a property of symbol iterator, and it is a generator, okay, now the for off actually works, and it uh, what it does, it calls uh, the iterator function, which returns an iterable, okay, an iterator, and it goes over the next, 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 until it is done, and sets the O as the value of the iterator next. Uh, and here we are logging it, simply logging it, and this is why we are seeing here 10 to 14, and for example, if I change it over here, we can see, okay, how it changes while I change it. So, again, for in iterates over the property names of the object, of the object uh, which we can see here, and the for off iterates over uh, the iterator, which is returned from the symbol iterator property. You have watched an episode about iterators in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to see more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Programmarks. Okay.